everybody. It's Elder Brimstone here. I'm going to do a short um, review on the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards. Now, um, I had received these from my mother who uh, had these from an ex-boyfriend from a long time ago. And it's a little bit damaged and taped up. And one side of the box is kind of coming open. Uh, and I probably will have to tape that. These are vintage. Uh, in a purple box, uh, they had come into another um, box, a uh, different colored box, I think like a, ouch, like a maroon color. Sorry about that. Uh, quite some time ago. They were made first, I believe, in 1903. Uh, first came out by the, um, I believe, the United States Playing Card Company um, in 1904. Now, these are the vintage ones. They do come out now in an orange box. And the cards, I believe, still have, if I could get this open, the purple on them um, in, the, in the orange box now. This is the original, the original instructions. This is all they have. Now they have a little book that I am aware of. Um... These were made by, if I can find it for you, because this is my first uh, review, really, so bear with me. Um, Mademoiselle Le Normand. I hope I got that all right. And she's obviously French mystic. I kind of like that they give the description of her her kind of like a background type thing. Um, she predicted Napoleon's rise and sun and fall, one of the greatest of living prophets uh, recognized by the nobility of Europe. Um, so this is just a little bit about her on that very first section. And um, they do still have these cards out. I'm not exactly sure what their price are. I will try to look that all up and put it in the description box for anybody who is interested in these. It gives a short, how to do the short reading, and it's kind of difficult for those who don't really understand it. Um, it was a little bit for me because um, I wasn't used to them. And there's a longer reading, which I have never tried that, and I probably, in, in all my years here, I probably never will try. <laughs> try it. Um, let me get these cards. I see the box is coming apart here. So let me get these cards out if I can. Right down to the bottom. Ugh, come on. Come. Give me the cards. Dang you. It's hard doing this one handed. <clears throat> there we go. That's the Joker. I'm not. I have to look through the instructions see if they have anything on the joker um i do have raymond buckland's um gypsy magic that has a little bit to do with just the deck of cards uh, reading the deck of cards i'm not obviously probably not these deck of cards but a deck of cards um there are in here and i do love the um way that there they are um, I love the way that they're, they're like, they look old to me, you know, the printing and that stuff is old. Number 18 and number 19. 18 stands for if you're doing a reading for a woman. And, uh, 19 for if you're doing a reading for a man. Um, that usually goes in the middle. Um, all these cards are just wonderful. And they're easy to read, um description of what they all mean and I thought for myself uh, just for myself I could probably just pull a card from the deck and do a reading off of that like right there the fish is the emblem of riches through stocks if it's distant from you in the reading layout um, then it foretells failure and disaster to me, I could read it, like, as is, you know, uh, it's, 
it's to me this would say um, getting riches through stocks, stock of anything, a large amount, a sum of things. Um, like I would do that, I would say that like if for my jewelry making, if I was to get plenty of like a big stock of jewelry out, I would make a profit off of that. The riches, becoming riches of some sort. I'm not talking like millionaire rich, but you know, and the riches of a stock of knowledge, you know, a large sum. Um, but, you know, in the distant future or whatever, it could be a failure or disaster in that portion, you know, in that, like, the, the amount may lessen. Um, you know, you can do anything with reading cards, um, basically. Uh, study up on them. They really, I have not found a book that says anything about these per se right now. Uh, the newer ones, they have a book, so maybe it says something. Uh, it description more or something. Uh, the park foretells a new love when very near in the reading layout. Um, if it's distant, then false friends. Well, to me, I would probably read this card. If I was to just draw a card to read, would be, um, in the a new love will show and that could be a love of anything you know person um, you might have you know uh, romance in a marriage your marriage your your relationship with your significant other um, maybe you'll meet somebody and fall in love with them maybe it will be the birth of a child that you will love very deeply um, Maybe it's an item that you will, that you've been wanting, that you know you will love and take care of, and, and that. So, I thought that I would probably do maybe some readings of just that um, type of thing. And you guys can let me know if you think that would work or not. You never know. It might not. But... I'm so in love with these cards and you can check out I will like definitely find I will definitely find the information for um, these these cards and see if what we can you know if if they're still available which I believe they are and um, you know maybe somebody would be interested in them and buy them and I love that, you know. The the vintage look to me is just it's it's wonderful. I, I really like the the look. The wording is easy to read. I'm not, I'm not showing these exactly oops, exactly right, but um you know, so and just learn, you know, if you're into the gypsy readings, you know, that that would be like something you know, just, you could do anything, like I said, with cards, you know, uh, read them, take them to heart, see what the, they say and that stuff to you or for others that you may do a reading for. Here's the tower. And uh, I like the vintage look of them. They're just very wonderful. Wonderfully, the art is cute. It's not harsh and it looks vintage to me there's the sun i'm sorry that i'm doing this so blah -zy blah but yeah broad oh, come back here but you can use them that way other other than that um you know you lay out you lay out you know say that a man comes to you and wants a fortune Red, he then thinks of a question. You lay out the whole plan, and it like lays out his whole life. You know, what what signifies with what around him? It's like an outer or an inner circle, and then like an outer circle, and it kind of goes out. Um, that can be difficult to read for some people. You could take the person that you're reading for and, you know, shuffle your cards, lay one here, lay one here, and do a reading that way. 
you know, any which way you want. I still have to figure out what the Joker <laughs> is signifying in the in the um, whole deck. Don't know that quite yet. I haven't read over anything that really states what the the Joker is all about. So maybe if somebody else knows, they could tell me. Other than that, um, I'm going to have to... Other than that, I'm going to have to go. My battery is running low. And I hope you guys check out the deck. Um, I Like I said, I'll leave everything in the description below. And if you have any questions or comment, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Give me lots of comments. Uh, excuse me, I'll check them over and... And, yeah, I really like these cards. Thanks for watching.